yeah, hey, Brian, when a team is going through, which every team does every season, it's going through the ebbs and flows of a patch like this. You had three games, seven days, and now you have seven days without a game. How much do you have to stress the basics? And uh, what will the seven days give you uh, in terms of practice? And you've got a home game coming up. Well, it gives the guys, we, we're going to give them a Sunday, Monday off. And I think they need a little bit of a physical break and a mental break. But it's also, you know, it gives us a couple of days as a staff, as coaching staff, to, you know, to get them some much needed training in a couple of different areas of the game. And hopefully we, you know, put out a better performance against Colorado at home. It's tough to pick individual performances, but. Stefan Cleveland, can you just talk about some of the saves he has and what you expect from a goalkeeper to make those saves, though, to keep the team in the game? Yeah, I mean, on the breakaway, the 1v1 breakaway they were in, kept us in the game at one nothing. Some other saves that he made in the second half. I thought Stefan was really good. I thought he was good. You know, I don't, I don't fault him for the goal. I don't think he could have, you know, prevented that. So he had a good performance. Thanks. Okay, over to Rachel Krieger next. Rachel, go ahead. Hi, Coach. You kind of just answered this a little bit, but um, just looking ahead to Colorado coming off of the, the losses here, um, just kind of what's your, your message to the group about, you know, Nico, He I think he said it very well. He said, you know, we the time is kind of running out to really turn this thing around. So um, just kind of wanted to get your thoughts on that. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, we, we addressed it after the game. I mean, there's 14 games left, which seems like a long time, but it's really not. And we also talked about pressure, you know, about how when things aren't going well, you know, things aren't going well, then, you know, you, you have to step forward. You have to, you have to, you know, not be afraid to change your mindset and do things a little bit differently. And so we addressed that pressure of running out of games. We addressed what it takes to pull yourself up out of a hole, which we've dug for ourselves. So we'll, we'll continue to message in a, in, a, in a positive way. Don't think there's any panic in that locker room. Um, but I think there's a little, you know, little bit of lack of confidence, I think, at times. Uh, when I watch the team play, and that's what we're going to try and address. 